Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Bitch and Brainstorm podcast. I'm here with one of my friends, Marty, who Hello. is going to be a part of our Elevate Your Customer Experience Summit happening on July 12th. So Marty, for those that do not know about the badass woman that you are, please give everybody a little intro of who you are and what you do. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. And oh my God, I freaking love you. I love your podcast. Okay. I'm Marty Stotler. I am founder of Rebel Queen. I've been in the publishing industry for 14 years. And five years ago, I decided it was time to start my own. Um, so I am a self-publishing services company that help women go from writing to marketing and every place in between um, to help them get their, their books done. Yay. How and how, so when you were talking about, you've been in the industry for a long time, did you work with another agency before you started your own? Yeah, I did. I actually, um, a funny story. I wasn't in the market of like really changing jobs. Like I wasn't um, seeking out someplace and I, I'll back up. That was kind of a lie, but not on purpose. Um, I was tired of doing what I was doing. I was tired of selling insurance. Um, I had been praying. I need some Jesus work to do. Jesus, I need you to give me, um, money for it. Like find me something to do and give me money. But I wasn't actively seeking something out. Uh, when I walked into this publishing company, I had no idea what this office building was. I just know that they needed my insurance. And I walked out with a job offer that I said yes to. Mm -hmm. So yes, tired of what I was doing, not really actively seeking and publishing just fell in my lap. I love it. So for people that want to write a book, they, they may think they want to write a book. They may someday I'm going to do this, or I don't know what my, I don't know what story I should tell blah, 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 all the bullshit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. all the yeah. How do you inspire people to get started? Um, well, you know, there is so much pressure that comes with, I'm going to write a book, like, mm -hmm. but what's your message? Like, really, like if you were going to write a book, what's the one thing that you would want me to know? And it, if that's hard when you're thinking about push, packaging it up, like what's that piece of life wisdom? What is that skill that you know that you can that you can teach me if I if I asked you to? Mm -hmm. um, so when you get the message, and then you reverse engineer what that message is, I mean, writing a book is just like semantics. You know, there's a multiple ways that you can actually get that book written. Um, but if you really just get in touch with like, hey, what is it that I have to say? You know, it just kind of makes it so much easier. Yeah, yeah, I love that. So when you are working with your clients on, you know, going through the process, can you talk about like, what does your customer experience look like? And maybe is there anything that you do differently than maybe somebody else? How do you put your spin on it? Because they can go to anybody, but why yeah, are absolutely. you you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when I'm working with my clients, we are, we're, it's very collaborative. It's, it's very much a partnership, you know, um, I don't hold any rights to your contracts. I mean, I'm, I'm literally self-publishing services. Um, people would hire me rather than DIYing it because I know what I'm doing. Um, and everybody on my team is really great. Um, professionals that have been doing this a very long time um, and, and we're students of what we're doing. So they work with me and when they work with me, we have this collaborative process. So every time I touch something, they're touching something like, so they're seeing every single spot that we're touching and they can make a decision if like, yes. And we're walking them through the process the entire time. So we work really closely together um, to help them achieve their goals and do a really good, like bang up job on their book. Very cool. Very cool. Have you had any negative customer uh, like, you know, we all have, Gosh, the channels, yes. right. How, yes. how do you deal when you are in a position where somebody is dissatisfied. Yeah, I've actually had a couple of those. Um, and, and listen, like my knee jerk reaction is to get real pissed off or real frustrated. Mm -hmm. I mean, for whatever reason, either I think the customer is being ridiculous. I mean, because reality that happens, um, maybe me or someone else on my team wasn't listening. And that pisses me off because I have these high expectations of, I just have high expectations. Like, oh, why didn't I hear them when, they, like, I heard what they said, but I didn't really hear what they said. So this was totally my fault. Um, or it, whatever the reason is, my knee jerk is usually to get pissed off. I just get agitated at the situation, right? Um, because I've been doing this for a long time. It shouldn't be this difficult. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is probably just a learning lesson in the last maybe year and a half. I have said this 
more times than I have said in the last 14 years, I have never dealt with this. Like so many like weird situations have come up that I'm like, I have never had to deal with this. Mm. And here I am dealing with this. So knowing that I have these knee jerk reactions, I need to take a step back and take a minute before I communicate that to anybody, whether it's someone on my team yeah. or it's, you know, the client themselves. Mm -hmm. So when I'm having to deal with the client, I have found that if I'm dealing with someone who also has knee jerk reactions, who also tends to come in like in their masculine and strong and hard and in my face about it, um, it is best for me just to let them have their 30 seconds of emotion. Like, go ahead, do your thing. Like I can be your sounding board. I'm not going to take this personally. Um, and Honestly, a lot of times I don't even address like the, like the chirping in my ear, which is not actually chirping. It sounds more like I, you want to punch me in the face and, you know, um, I don't even address that. I listen, I let them get it off their chest. And then I'm like, okay, let's get back to the real issue. Like, let's just get to the heart of the issue. And the heart of the issue is always going to get us to the end goal. So let's not talk about all of this fluff because it doesn't yeah. really need to be discussed. Because it doesn't let's, matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You've got it off your chest. Great. Here's the issue. And here's how we're going to move forward because they don't want to hear like, here's why this happened. Here's the reasons I'm coming back with solutions. Yeah. They don't want to hear excuses no. they don't hear, like any of that shit. It's just no like one wants to hear excuses. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Nobody wants to hear yeah. the excuses of why this happened and why that happened. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no. matter. No, it doesn't and it matter. can be very valid. I mean, they can be very valid excuses on why X, Y, Z, but we're already here. How are we going to move forward? Yeah. And we can't change the past. We can't change what no. we did. We can't change the choices that we made at the time for whatever reason. We can only move forward. Yeah. And listen, Elaine, like I have changed my processes. Like I'm always changing my processes as new situations arise, as I find ways that I can do something better. Yeah. And better in like a shorter time frame or in like I'm a shortcut finder. Like not shortcuts to um I try to get there faster. The same, the same outcome yeah. in a shorter time frame, right? Yeah. Um and I have had to do that multiple times. And if I have come across something that there is something that's my fault and there are absolutely things that are my fault, I'm willing to acknowledge those. And I'm willing to say, you know what? I acknowledge that here's where I messed up. Mm -hmm. And then this is what we're doing moving forward. So this doesn't happen again, you know? Yep. That's all you can do. And I think yeah. that's the best way to, to approach it is here's where we are. Where are we trying okay. to go? How are we going to get there? Let's do it yeah. together. Are you in yes. or not? Right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Love that. Love that. Love that. Well, I am really excited to continue this conversation at the summit. Um, thank you so much for coming to be a part of it and come to chat with me a little bit today. Yeah. So I am so excited to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elaine. I'm stoked. All right. We'll see you guys later.